The 11th annual Trinity International Film Festival comes to the Bowl Theater in downtown Detroit over the weekend of August 25th. The festival was founded as a showcase for culturally diverse movies by independent filmmakers. The event also allows artists to connect with the community. Here to tell us more are the festival's directors, Marshall and Lazar Favors, uh, along with uh, one of the featured filmmakers, Zachary Cunningham. Welcome to American Black Journal. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Uh, 11th annual uh, film festival. Uh, talk about the idea behind this festival. How did it get started? Well, as a filmmaker myself, um, I was constantly traveling to other film festivals in other cities, other countries, and, um, and I thought to myself, I would always have a great experience, mm -hmm. and I would meet um, other filmmakers, was able to network and um, find out all these resources that they have for filmmakers, and I was almost like, well, where, is, where do we have that in Detroit? <laughs> How does Detroit? this exist, this you know, right. like in Detroit? And, you know what they say, if it doesn't exist, then create go, it. Go out and uh, make it yourself. <laughs> and this is our 11th year. Yeah, yeah. What, what makes it special about this being in Detroit? I mean, we like to think of ourselves as very different from everybody else, and well, we get mad if you say we're not, but well, tell me how think, that looks. I think because it allows us to be on a, uh, in the forefront. Like, it's, it's a lot, extremely a lot of talented filmmakers, producers, directors. Yeah in the city and we want them to be recognized. So I think our festival uh, pushes them to the front because we, we accept our Detroiters and we showcase them at a prime time. Right. You know, so they right. come out and enjoy those <laughs> films and it allows other Detroiters to recognize that we have a, uh, we have a substantive community. Yeah, filmmakers. yeah. Uh, talk about that film community. I'm not sure most people who live here know that there's such an active film community in Detroit. Oh, ab absolutely. Yeah. And, and a lot of times, even when we travel to other places, you know, people would say, Detroit has a film community. <laughs> and, um, and that was one of the things we wanted to do was to reach out to other um, festivals that they have here, other filmmakers, other film groups um, that exist here. Um, so that they could collaborate with one another, uh, share resources, and also share in the experience uh, as well, too. But there are, are very talented actors, directors, writer, producers that are right here um, in the metro Detroit area. Yeah. And we love to highlight them and showcase yeah. that. How, how has the festival changed over 11 years? I would imagine that that first year was, it was really different <laughs> than what you'll do this year. I'll start with the 10th. Okay. The tenth. The tenth was an amazing um, atmosphere. We had a, um, what was it? We had a guy from Chicago here um, with a, a workshop. We mm -hmm. had uh, we were over at the the car center. Mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. were we had two places at the same time. So it, it was exciting, you know, see the people come out watching these films, and, and we had an amazing amount of submissions. So it was it was wonderful. And when yeah. we first started, it was. Um, another name and so the international is what's new about it right. and so uh, and we've always shown international films but um, about five years ago people actually started traveling here from other countries other places um, um, to be at the festival and what I love about it is that a lot of those filmmakers are here for the first time right and right. so for us to be their first entree into their what Detroit is like right. you know sure. was uh, really great as well yeah yeah, uh, Zachary, I want to uh, show a clip from your film in a, in a second, but, but uh, set it up for us. Tell us what uh, your film is about. So my film is titled You Better Run. I wrote and directed it. It's starring Omri Franklin and Don Snipes. They're actually pretty well-known actors mm -hmm. in the Detroit community. Um, I'm not the great, greatest at giving synopsises, but <laughs> I can give you a few of the influences from yeah. it. Uh -huh. um, I'm a big Godfather fan, uh -huh. and I love the way that they dressed in The Godfather. And so when I was watching films, I always look at most of our films are like from the urban community. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, man, why isn't a film where black people dress really, really nice <laughs> right. throughout the entire right. film? <laughs> so it started with that idea and that concept and it blossomed into um, almost like a homage to like the black exploitation era huh. in terms of being a very stylistic film. Um, dealing with leadership, treachery, all those yeah. typical I filmmaking love, tropes. I love that name, You Better Run, right? <laughs> yeah, sir. That's yeah, great. You Better Run. I should have named it You Better Run. You, you Better know? Run, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. right? All right, let's take a look at yes, uh, a clip of that film. Forty years entrenched in conflict, inherited from our forefathers. Success. Casualties, treachery, mistakes, it's important. 
important for us to acknowledge our shortcomings. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I, I love the the splash screen at the beginning. Misfitted academics. Yes. Film is that your that your film company? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. Um, How did you so, come up with that name? So I came up with that because I write poetry. That's actually how I got into filmmaking okay. because I wanted to create visuals to go along with my poetry. And I wrote this poem when I was like 15 years old. It was called The Diary of a Misfit. Okay. And so um, I pretty much took that idea and turned it into a film company because yeah. I feel like a lot of people are outcasts in society, the quote unquote misfits. Mm -hmm. We can kind of educate the people. So yeah. misfit academics where we, we're educating the public yeah. with our viewpoints, our perspectives. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. If not for this film festival, uh, how how hard would it be for you to get exposure for your for your movie? It's hard. It's yeah. extremely hard. <laughs> it's still um, hard even with yeah, the festival. It's right? even hard with the festival, but yeah. I mean it's because of festivals like this that yeah. we can actually um, we actually feel motivated to promote the films, you yeah. know. It's kind of hard because sometimes it feels like you're preaching to the choir, like right. you're only right. sending it to family and friends. But with this platform, you can kind of expand that audience base. Yeah. Uh, how, how tough is it uh, for filmmakers in Detroit to, to get that kind of exposure? Is it different here than other places? Is it harder here? <laughs> no. No. I, um, as Zachary mentioned, it's it's uh, it's tough all the way around. It's um, something that you, you know, constantly uh, when it's especially your film and your baby that you're constantly looking for new audiences um, to put your films in in front of. And so hopefully we, like I said, pl provide that platform where we're bringing communities together to see work um, from artists they may not have seen before in the yeah. past. Uh, I, we've only got about a minute left, and this may be too complicated a question to ask for that minute. But I want to. I'm very curious about. The difference you see between the way Detroit is depicted in uh, films that are made here and the way that we are depicted in other film, and, and we do get depicted in film uh, every once in a while. Think about uh, the, the, the movie that's out now, right. Detroit. Right. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about that? Only thing I can say, it's, it's, more to, it's more to Detroit than what we see on film. Yeah. If we took the time and really kind of like a project we're, we're into right now is showcase Detroit in a, a um, or organic manner, mm -hmm. which means just here's, here's what it is. Here's what it really is. Yeah. Here's what it really is. It's more to more to it than what you see. Yeah. So yeah. That's our focus is to show you that Detroit is bigger and better and stronger than the visuals you may yeah. see. Oh, I love that. I love that message. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, th uh, congratulations on the festival, Thank you. Thank and you. thanks Thank very you. much for being here. Thank you for having me. And the dates, uh, the dates for the festival. Uh, August, August twenty um, fifth through the twenty seventh. Yes, uh, at the at the at the bowl at the bowl. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the bowl YMCA, <laughs> yeah. and also we have a partnership with the Car Gallery. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right.